Hello, movie lovers. Welcome back to our channel, where we bring you the latest updates from the world of cinema. Today, we're diving into the box office performance of Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. The long awaited finale of the iconic Indiana Jones franchise has hit theaters, and the numbers are in. Let's take a closer look at how the film is faring and what it means for the future of the series. Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny is living up to its tempered box office expectations, falling within the estimated range of $80 million to $85 million during the 4th of July holiday weekend. With an $11.8 million Monday gross, the film's domestic total currently stands at $71 million. Although Independence Day isn't known for being a significant boost to box office numbers, it's the days surrounding the holiday that can provide some extra support for major releases. Despite its respectable performance, Indiana Jones 5 faces significant financial challenges. With a production budget of a whopping $295 million, it ranks among the most expensive films ever produced by Disney and Lucasfilm. Furthermore, the movie had an underwhelming debut overseas, and upcoming releases like Oppenheimer and Mission Impossible 7, which target a similar demographic, pose additional competition. Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny has always been promoted as the final installment in the beloved globe-trotting action series. Harrison Ford reprises his role as the whip-cracking archaeologist, teaming up with his goddaughter, played by Phoebe Waller-Bridge, to protect a powerful artifact from the clutches of Nazis during the Space Age. The film was helmed by James Mangold, who took over as director after Steven Spielberg's departure during the development phase. Taking a look at the rest of the box office, Disney claimed the top and third spots with Indiana Jones 5 and the Pixar Romance Elemental, respectively. Elemental added $3 million on Monday, inching closer to the $100 million mark with a domestic total of $92 million. Sony's Spider-Man, Across the Spider-Verse secured the second spot, nearing the title of the second-highest-grossing domestic release of the year. Jennifer Lawrence's comedy No Hard Feelings from Sony and Paramount's Transformers, Rise of the Beasts rounded out the top five. Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny is holding steady at the box office, meeting expectations but facing financial challenges due to its high production budget. As the final adventure in the franchise, it's a significant milestone for fans, but the film will need a strong performance in the coming weeks to secure its success. We'll continue to keep you updated on the latest box office news and industry happenings. Don't forget to like this video subscribe to our channel, and hit that bell icon to stay notified. Until next time, keep enjoying the magic of the movies.